Hey guys, Clay here from Badger Security and Survival. Today we have another hot seat, hot seat number 11. Let's do this. All right, as, as the last couple of times we've been using this conflicted card game, it's kind of a little easier way. We are, we, our whole group kind of talks about things already, so it's a little bit easier way of surprising questions on people. So let me get some of them cards. I'm going to do the same thing you did and grab two right off the bat. All right. All right. Uh, hunger and starvation has swept over your camp for the past eight days. You were just attacked by looters and you managed to kill them off. They have... They had some weapons on them, but no food. Most of your group is too weak to go on, and there is plenty of human flesh lying around. Would you eat flesh of your enemies and feed them to your family or not? Uh, no, I'm not. I'm not eating dirty looters. That's that was a that was a pretty easy single question. Oh, it says why. Um, well, it's been proven that cannibalism has deteriorous effects on human beings' bodies in general. Uh, if it came down to it, you know, I mean, eight days. You know, human humans were in the in history. Humans were designed to go more than a week without eating. Not that I am, obviously, but ah, eating another human is is that's just a whole other step that I don't think I'd be willing to take. Uh, not to mention, you don't know what they have, what kind of diseases, what kind of other things that you'd be bringing into your camp with that. All right, next question. In a post apop in a post apocalyptic society, modern and techn Modern and technological work aren't immediately available. What do you think you could offer any community in exchange for food, water, and shelter? There's already plenty of security and caretakers in these groups. What skill would you offer, and why would they need it? This must be a skill you currently have. Ooh. Security's already in place. Uh, I'm <laughs> pretty much labor. <laughs> I, don't have, I don't have much uh, really beyond that. I'm not, I'm not a, I don't have a green thumb. Uh... I'm not an engineer. I don't have any electrical expertise. Pretty much nothing. I'd be the, the broke dude on the street like, get a job, hippie. That would be me. Uh, I'd, 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 I'd be pulling carts and moving material. That's, that's all I could do in that instance. Terrible card. Terrible card. Uh, I mean, I exaggerate, but I, I, I am working on some of those things. We're, we're working on the gardening and stuff. I am by no means a farmer. But I think I could actually grow something to sustain myself. Whether I could keep that going consistently or not, I doubt it myself. But I'm still working on that stuff, and you should be too. All right, guys, thanks for watching. That was a very, very difficult card for us. Uh, we're, we're, we're pretty security-minded and technological hey, to a certain extent. Yourself. Hey, well, I am speaking for myself, and you're the technology guy, so you'd be just as screwed as I would. You'd be over there like, oh no, I don't have anything to do. What am I going to do? And I would be too. We'd be all doing it together. Where's my face tube? <laughs> Where's my face tube? <laughs> exactly. But uh, if you liked what you saw, if you have some different answers, some suggestions for us to work on, please put them in the comments below. You know, hit up our page on Facebook, hit our YouTube page, give us some comments. And until next time, make yourself ready.